In a laboratory south of Montreal, Canada, scientists are busy trying to build the pathway for a new energy solution. Fuse is a startup on an incredibly tricky mission to commercialize nuclear fusion, and we've been granted exclusive access. Right here is uh, our assembly area. Fusion is a process that occurs naturally inside the sun, and it's what powers it. When two atomic nuclei combine, they release energy. Here on Earth, scientists have been trying to recreate that for almost a century. But now, in the midst of trade wars and with our environment hanging in the balance, the race is on. Unlocking fusion power is going to be technology that you know will propel humanity and unlock civilization prosperity for, for centuries. The promise? Virtually limitless and more or less clean energy. For the nation that cracks it, energy independence and a windfall of riches. When you think about SpaceX, they lowered the dollar per kilogram to orbit and increasing the re reusability of rockets so they can launch much more frequently. And by doing that, they've unlocked essentially space and made that way more accessible. But for the nuclear industry, this has not happened. So what we're focused on is how do we decrease the cost per radiation and how do we make radiation much more available? They've built Titan, a pulsed power driver capable of producing lightning in a bottle, the equivalent of 800 strikes at once. Inside, there are 476 capacitors and 238 custom-made switches. Fahid was once one of Iran's top nuclear physicists and is now technical lead here. Assembling 40,000 parts is not easy. You miss one part, you're going to lose the project, you're going to fail the project. Uh, Titan is the most challengeable project I've ever had. I love it. And this is Titan. Oh. Check that. <laughs> yeah, it's a one terawatt. The key innovation here is how do you trigger 238 of those bricks within less than two nanosecond uh, delay or jitter between them. And that's kind of our core technology is being able to build that triggering system. What's holding you back? Well, everything is a challenge, right? At first we built the machine, there's no playbook. We're the first to have built it. May I ask, what age are you? Yeah, I'm 24, I turn 25 next month. How have you done this? Yeah, so uh, I'm still figuring it out, how, how to do it. You know, essentially growing up, my father was a nuclear physicist. That kind of spurred my passion for understanding how the universe works, and I really wanted to go see it for myself. You know, how can I use my time in the most uh, effective way? And I thought that pursuing fusion as, as a startup is the fastest and more intellectually honest way to make progress. Whilst JC may not have decades of experience under his belt, he's convinced some serious industry heavyweights. I spent 30 years at Los Alamos National Laboratory where I had the privilege of working on national security programs. So what attracted you to FUSE? Clean, abundant energy production not only supports our economy, but it also supports national security, defense capabilities and the like. This is our machine shop, so we're able to rapidly prototype or build components. 75% of the cost of Titan is in three components, and now we built two of them in-house for a fraction of the cost and in a couple of days of lead time instead of months and in some case almost a year. So here's the Titan control room. Live feedback on voltage, charge voltage, the checklist, the, the air delivery system pressure, all of them are software controlled. Despite efforts here, the rollout of nuclear fusion as a practical solution could still be decades away, according to experts who cite significant scientific and engineering challenges needing to be overcome. But that isn't deterring Fahid. Are you making history here? We have already made it, so we, we, we keep doing that. And they need to, fast. Billions of dollars are being poured into cracking fusion globally, and competition is close by. Sam Altman-backed Helion just secured 400 million odd for its efforts in its latest funding round. Several countries around the world are also gearing up. 
China's reactor, dubbed the Artificial Sun, is making massive strides. And in the UK, the Atomic Energy Authority aims to open the world's first fusion power plant by 2040. Energy security is national security. And we're very conscious to, to go all the way to ensure that, you know, this technology stays in the, hand, the right hands. Today, they're firing their latest model. So we'll start ramping up the voltage and testing out how will the machine you know, perform. We'll see what happens. They're going through the final checklist preparations before they fire up Titan. My hands are getting sweaty. I don't know why I'm getting nervous. Three, two, one. Break. Will we solve it or not? To be determined. Are we going to make a large contribution in solving uh, this large monumental problem? Yes, we're already doing so.